Welcome to TOV Live in the morning, apparently. <laughs> it is Valhalla time. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Happy Thursday morning to everybody. Wow. Um, yeah, this is not your typical live stream or the typical time of the day, but this is when we're planning for it. Hi, everybody. I am Ryan, aka Tales of Valhalla, and I have with me this morning Carl Cleanthes, who is Colorful Carl on YouTube, um, founder of Epic Made, the guys who created that uh, little gate that you saw in the beginning that Renegade advertised. And I know there were comments when that gate was first shown in Discord and some people commenting like, it would be good to see, it'd be interesting to see like the backstory and how, you know, the whole process was involved in this, but we'll probably never get to see it. Well, guess what? Today is that day to actually explore some of that behind the scenes process with Carl here because he's, yep. he's the guy who helmed it. I, I, I advised a little bit at the beginning. But um, did, there, yeah. yeah, I did. But th there's there's still a lot that I really don't know. There's a lot that I, I'd like to talk and discuss with Carl about that information that um, some of you guys out there in the TOV audience might find interesting as well to see to see some of the behind the scenes process of what it takes to basically I don't know if you call it advertising. I guess I guess it's it, it's a, it's kind of like advertising, uh, Carl. Uh, the, the creative process right yeah. like and what, how it breaks down and like you know you, at the end of the day like if you're not in the know of the creative process like you just see this final thing and like you're just like oh i wonder how this got made or wonder like what the you know you know it, there's always something right it's always an adventure like mm -hmm. no matter how well you plan and uh especially like with this piece you know we were executing right around the uh the holiday season which creates all kinds of extra hurdles because you know people are working or they're not working or like you know and there's a bunch of companies involved here so it was cool but yeah anyways yeah and so before we get started with those details carl how about you just formally introduce yourself you have been on the tv podcast before but just give give a rehash of who you are what you're about yeah sure uh so i'm carl cleanthus aka colorful carl uh i am a lifelong artist gamer nerd uh you name it like i've been playing hero escape since you know most of your viewers were children probably <laughs> so uh yeah we i saw i bought my first hero escape set like 2004 and uh when i got married maybe 2005 and then when i got married in 2007 and my wife was like on our wedding registry i know i mentioned that every time i'm on here so <laughs> it's just so funny because now you know it was full circle here back to actually getting to do some work for you know the relaunch was really cool uh, but yeah, uh, so I own Epic Made. We do digital art, animation, advertising assets, and content uh, for gaming, entertainment, and tech. So we work with you know tons of large brands. We do stuff with Nickelodeon, Sci-Fi, USA Network, WWE. Uh, I've done stuff with like um, uh, Shopify, and you know uh, I'm trying to think of some of the, there's some other really cool. We're just doing some. I mean, we did this Hero Scape Gate, obviously, which mm -hmm. is a Renegade Hasbro project, and. Uh, Got some other cool ones in the hopper that I'm excited to announce, but can't quite announce yet. Uh, but we've been at this since 2006 is when I started the company. Uh, so, you know, long time now. Uh, kind of run the gamut of creative assets and websites and building brands and everything in between and really found our home in, you know, gaming and pop culture, uh, which is like really the things we love and that we stay abreast on no matter what's going on in our lives because we, we're passionate about those things when we're not working. So kind of merging them all together made the most sense for us and really allowed us to kind of climb to the top of this vertical uh, where we can we can hang with all the, the big brands that we love to work with. So Absolutely. And t take notes, people. Those of you getting married, wedding wedding registry, HeroScape. Since, it's, since you can get the older new stuff now, just just jot it down there. And say, <laughs> just go, and, you know, just go to Renegade Games and you know pre-order you some more HeroScape. It's good. It's good for the whole family. Like, uh, absolutely, highly recommend. Ten out of ten. <laughs> like, but no, seriously, it's the best board game I've ever played in my life. Yeah, it's like everything you'd love about like Magic: The Gathering rolled into like. This is a 3D buildable board with all these amazing little figures. It's, right. it's so cool. I've never had anyone play HeroScape with us and not enjoy it. I probably have like a $6,000 personal collection. And, uh, you know, if anybody's remotely into like fantasy stuff or board games, and they'll get, they'll understand the mechanics of the game in like one round, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not super complicated, but it, the, the strategy is deep. It's a really, yes. really cool game. So. Yes, it is. 
And so, yeah, so that's a little bit about Carl's background. And how about we get started first with, well, okay, so you got um, contracted through with Renegade uh, mm -hmm. to design this gate um, purely just for like advertising for it's like it was an announcement banner for yep. the Age of Annihilation uh, waves coming out. And so how did that how did that whole process happen, even though I kind of know, but uh, go ahead and explain that. Yeah, sure. So uh, actually, you know, Ryan, you know, you and I were chatting and, uh, you know, you knew that there was that Renegade was going to be relaunching this. So I got in touch with Renegade and, uh, you know, Jordan and the team over there. Uh, Jordan, you've seen on all their streams and like their release stuff. Uh, we're really excited to work with some people that were um, really good at doing cool visual assets and videos that also knew the game and were passionate about the game. So um, the, the the initial idea was essentially like they wanted a gate to start with. You know, Jordan had this idea of a cool gate that like, you know, brings you in and like, you know, really, you know we have this thing and we had some longer form ideas and some shorter form things and really just always kind of trying to massage out like timelines and budgets and like what what's accomplishable in, you know, this frame of, of work we have here. Mm -hmm. um, so th the first thing we did was just kind of sketch out a bunch of gates. Like, what could this gate look like? You know, we had a bunch of different stuff with Kyrie and different ideas of like something a little more rustic or something a little more like heavenly and ridiculous. And like, you know, we ended up landing on something in the middle that kind of resembled a hero tile and some of the like the the like building structures from mm -hmm. some of the older um like the uh, the castle packs and stuff like that uh and we felt like that was the best feel to start with and, and that was kind of and we and, you know at that phase of the game you and i had chat and we did a little consulting there right. where it's just like hey ryan what do you think about all these mm -hmm. and like yeah we all sort of landed and gravitated toward this same gate so that that's the one we went with so right and here i'm just going to bring up the the banner for the second like like this the gate that you see right here um, the walls remind me a bit of um, actually the Age of Annihilation walls uh, that are coming okay. out along the side there. And I think um, I know this was one of the original concept drawings that you guys showed me. And here's like, oh, sorry, uh, 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 here, I need to get that off. Okay. Yeah, that was that was one of the concept drawings that you guys first showed me. And there were there were a few others. Um, but I think that's the one that I think I appreciated the most because I'm like, OK, that that does look close. It actually kind of looks like um, what I imagine Valhalla to be, which is kind of it's nothing's really new in Valhalla. It's 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 a war torn world, so you're not going to find anything um, really new. It's going to be all dilapidated. It's going to be you know weather beaten and war torn. Um, you know, so it, it kind of that's one thing I appreciated about about that artwork uh, when it came to that. Yeah, yeah, do you have the sketches? I think I think you had the sketches somewhere. Are they were uh, not, I don't have them on me Let's at, see if I at the moment. Pull but. them up. Uh, yeah, so we have, here's the original sketch. Let's see, copy, how do I, I wonder if I can swap. You can, you can share it in the window here if, if you find that. Can I share it in the, the chat on, uh, let's see, no. Anyways, you, uh, you can you can do like a screen share. Um, in oh, the, right. Yeah, in Discord here. Well, how do I that. screen share back in? Because it's a Discord file. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, if you have that, you should have the option in, in our in our in our view window here. Let's see. Anyways, let me pull that up, and we'll just keep chatting while I'm doing that. But, <laughs> no problem. Uh, let me see. Okay, I got this. Yeah, and when it became when it when it came to like the beginning of that process, when it came to that, like how long did it take to draw that concept art, and who who was in charge of that? Who was the one that actually did the, those concept art? So Ross is our is our creative director. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Ross did the sketches, Kira or Gabby. I, and you know, unfortunately, Ross couldn't be here. Uh, you know, you and I were talking before the yeah. podcast, but uh, Ross Ross had a baby, so uh, he is on paternity yeah. leave, which is amazing. Um, so excited for him first kid so you know the whole like shock and awe of like I made a, a whole thing and oh wait now I'm fully responsible for it for the rest of its life like <laughs> yep. uh, so he's in that whole phase of life right now which is beautiful um, all right so I'm sharing can all they right. see this it should be yeah let's bring it up there we are okay so we had several sketches yes. of different ideas of gate of different gates but this is like the base sketch, right? So we right. this was sketched out in Photoshop. 
um, and kind of the original idea of the gate that we did select. I think there was four or five of them. Um, but this is the one that we went with and uh, kind of leveled it up from there. So we have all the little, like, uh, you know, uh, generals. General crests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then, you know, the HeroScape logo. And you can see how it was all sort of sketched out uh, otherwise. Um, yeah. So from there, uh, all right, so am I still sharing my screen or no? Oh, no, no, you, you, oh. you locked out. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. All right, uh, that's fine. Um, let me see if I can... Pull up some other files here for you guys. Key illustrations. Because this is fun, right? People yeah. want to see like the whole behind the scenes. Oh, thing. yeah, for sure. Yeah, see what I saw back in November. Because that was just like... Yeah. It was, fun to, it was fun to pick and choose and be like, okay, I like this. I don't like this. And this is why. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have... Let's see... Phase videos. Although someone might come on to be like, well, I actually like that better than, than I do that. Why didn't you use that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. People always have opinions. It's all right. So, um, yeah, cool. So, That's like, okay. uh, let's see. Let's share some more of these things here. So, I've got the, this was like the first 3D render with like a rough mock up kind mm. of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, we did this in, um, uh, Gabby did this in Maya. Uh, she's one of our lead animators. Um, and then Ross was kind of, uh, Ross, Ross oversees all the creative. So, uh, and then I think, you know, this kind of evolved a bit. Let's see. Yeah. We're just kind of mm -hmm. showing different phases of the cracking on ideas it's kind, and kind of like a con concept of what it was yeah. going to be like. Yeah. This is one of the original concepts, like, uh, where, you know, like the camera's kind of panning around mm -hmm. and then someone dies. Right. Um, we ended up having to scrap that. Um, but it was kind of a cool idea. Um, uh, but yeah, a previs. It was kind of like you were pre-visualizing, try, trying to pitch to Renegade and, and Hasbro as well. Uh, the, yeah. These ideas, and so so that's how you got started. So in November, so now explain some of the process, like getting into December, January to, to crunch time. Uh, what what were there any things that changed you know with because i know throughout the whole creative process when it comes to producing anything you start out with grand ideas and then you just get to what works or what you have time or money for uh, so right. so explain yeah. explain a little bit of that yeah so i mean look we, we we worked out the first kind of concept um we uh we got it to a pitchable place that we could that renegade felt good about sending it over to hasbro and basically around that space was you know everything was crazy in the holidays things were starting to shut down um but uh you know we just kept moving the needle along so we started off with a full 3d render that i showed you guys right mm -hmm. uh we realized the the end result of this was always the last video you guys saw mm -hmm. so we basically were trying to reverse engineer as many assets from that that we could put out there for everyone to enjoy in the meantime. So like that first render with the swords is kind of like the, just a little bit of gate pulsing, right? So then, mm -hmm. and then it was even more, and then it was the third one, it was like mm -hmm. super energy, right? Those were all like kind of secondary and tertiary assets to the main asset, which was mm -hmm. that final video. Um, so most of the attention was kind of put towards that because that's what we wanted to really mm. sell the thing and everything else was just kind of little anticipation teasers. Um, so just getting all those done as quickly as possible uh, while trying to coordinate through the holidays uh, was just, um, you know, it, it got a little exciting a few times. Uh, Ross and I definitely pulled some weekend shifts to just, and I jumped on this project for the first, I haven't touched an art project in years and years right so uh because i'm just not on the art team like i do you know business development i you know hire people i grow the business do ceo stuff right but you know when i started this company in 2005 i was the art department and the sales and accounting and all the things right so like mm -hmm. uh which you know <laughs> i sort of became last week through a whole uh comedy of errors when ross was out and kira was out and our bookkeepers out and our sales guys out so <laughs> that's the, the the journey sometimes uh in this entrepreneur life um so yeah sorry i didn't mean to ramble too much no, there sorry. did that answer all your questions i think so uh, a little bit uh yeah and so I, I have another question in my head so you're saying that like the the final video where it like the gate explodes that's primarily what you were working on but like the the three um, quote unquote still images, which I mean this this wasn't this project. You weren't trying to create a still image. It was supposed to be a, a moving uh, video type type uh, piece, correct? 
Yeah, I mean, so the 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 main ask is like this final video, right? Mm -hmm. But we also knew like through the process of this, we could create, and we planned this, you know, to create these like three, you know, phase shots that would end up with this, you know, final thing with the same assets. So we're kind of reusing it, uh, being really efficient with the budget, uh, and just trying to, you know, make sure that like we could deliver something that was exciting for everyone. Um, but wasn't like a crazy, you know, it still worked for everyone on the business side, right? Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, the fact that like Hasbro was still excited and willing to put money towards this project and relaunch Heroescape after what happened with Avalon Hill and it didn't get funding and it's been dead for 10 years, like, I just think it's so exciting. Um, so I, I, you know, anyone who doesn't feel that way, I, I just don't get it, especially if they're a Heroescape fan, right? Like mm -hmm. any attention Hasbro is putting towards this is amazing, right? Like, and I, I, I do want to put out there, like it's on us as lifelong, like decade plus Heroescape fans to pump the shit out of this right now, right? Like let's get everyone we know, but I got people that never heard of Heroescape that are pre-ordering Heroescape right awesome. now because I got them excited about it. Cause you know, I had them over the house. I'm like, yo, check this out. They're relaunching it. You can buy it right now. Like it's cooler than it's ever been. Like, let's do this, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, everyone should be doing that because we would love to have Heroescape for another decade out from here, right? And that's that's only going to happen if people get behind the project now and continue to make sure mm -hmm. make sure that it makes business sense and it's viable for you know Hasbro uh, to keep working with you know Renegade Games and everyone to continue to build this up. So, absolutely. And and just to plug the link in the description below um, to check out Carl, check out Epic May, check out Carl's YouTube channel as well as there is a link description below for to purchase uh, some hero escape through renegade and if you go through that link it helps support my buddy Joe crazy his channel um, give give him some uh, financial uh, support because he is an affiliate with with renegade so I'm just giving giving Joe crazy a plug there through that Joe crazy. yeah give, give, <laughs> Joe's amazing yeah, give, 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 give him give him some love and so yeah I'll link subscription below for that um, so, awesome. so this, this now this is a fun. This is this was. I mean, it, it was it was a very um, time crunching process as as the projects are. Um, and how how did you feel like near uh, the end of it when it came? Actually, I know the day this like the the first banner came out, you were just like, oh, it, it, it came out because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you you were just busy on to whatever else you were doing. Um, uh, t tell me tell me how you felt when when that when that whole process uh, like starting to come out. Yeah, you know, it's always exciting to see our work go live and and, and there's a little bit of like, oh, I wonder what people are going to think and like mm -hmm. always, you know, this and that. And you know the internet is the internet, right? Like the people that are really excited about it are like, oh, that's cool. And then they continue on with their day and people that have nothing better to do like, oh my God, there's a little thing in the corner that like, well, you know, everyone's like, <laughs> only the keyboard warriors come out with the most, you know, the most noise. But I think the, there was a resounding like uh, positive feedback about it we really love the work uh renegade loved it i think hasbro loved it um and so you know it's um it was super cool super rewarding again because this is like my favorite board game of my whole life mm -hmm. like it's so cool and the fact that like we got to work on it was just really exciting um but yeah i mean in the grand scheme of things of the whole business it, it was a, a very small project for us um you know so like yeah, we launched it and it was out. And I didn't even know. Like I was like, oh, cool. Like I, you know, like <laughs> like so I, I was excited to go, you know, see it live. Uh, and then you know, watch the whole thing kind of evolve from there was cool. But yeah, I mean, it was just insane through the holidays. Uh, we had our busiest January ever with all bunch of other projects going on. So um, while super grateful for the work, super excited to be a part of this process. I was definitely like, uh, you know, not fully on my radar of exactly when it was launching, mm -hmm. but I knew we got it to Renegade in time. So that's that's all I. <laughs> needed to know yeah so if if you could go if if you were getting another chance to um do something similar for renegade again uh like depending on crunch time ha would you like like a bit like a little big bigger cushion for time i mean is is a time crunch uh like a little little bit i'm sure it's a little bit more difficult um but uh i'm sure you you would prefer a cushion over um you know a limited amount of time for things yeah, I mean, to be fair, Renegade had plenty of time with us. Like, we, we started the conversations very early on. It was just a matter of, like, the back and forth and dialing things back in that, like, you know, it just, no matter how much time you plan for, the holidays is always tricky, right? So, like, mm -hmm. like yeah, I mean, there's never enough time, though. That's the creative process, right? Mm -hmm. You have more time, you start doing more things, right? Like, it's 
it's just like <laughs> it's it's one of those things in uh you know in, in advertising and creative there's just always something that comes up there's a lot of unforeseeable things and like you know um no i, I don't think the time frame was a, was a huge issue i think it was more just navigating around all of the the opening and closings and things of the holidays that was really the the bigger thing so yeah i mean love to work with renegade again uh you know we have a great relationship with them and uh who knows what what the future will hold uh so we'll see yeah absolutely and i think it's important for like the audience uh for all of you out there who love hero escape it's good to know that someone like has um their their foot in the door so to speak with renegade that really really does love hero escape and the the more people that we can get involved uh, with whatever form of of the production through renegade that that we can the more people involved who, who love hero escape i think the better off it's going to be um so yeah, yeah i totally i totally agree with what you say i i think overall like some minor critiques aside i think um, the Age of Age of Annihilation releases um, that that are being uh, presented to us is really something to get excited about. It really is. And, Dude, they're they're super cool. Mm -hmm. And now with um, now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do some devil's advocate things here um, before we <laughs> before before we wrap in this interview. And if I can think of any other question to say too while while I'm doing this, but yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, artificial intelligence. Please convince me that this wasn't an artificial intelligence image and someone just, you know, typed some things on a screen and AI AI did it all for you. Convince yeah, me. Yeah, you know, we're in the business of just like typing in a prompt and just dropping something in there. And uh, we're actually all AI robots over here. I'm actually a VTuber. You guys, this, this is just good VTube. And uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> None of us are even human. We're all Tesla bots. <laughs> Uh, all under the command of Musk. Yes, absolutely, for sure, for sure. And, and X, and X. I, I streamed, yeah. I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. But anyway. No, <laughs> no uh, so, I mean, to be very clear, like, we painstakingly modeled and drew all of this stuff, um, for sure, so. And and that, that's another thing that um, I found interesting, too. Um, now, this was all digitally drawn. Um, explain um, some of that process, because... I mean, we see some handwritten drawings, or it seems to be handwritten. Um, we see some, I think, polygonish um, type artwork. And I know y you guys tend to Epic Made uses like kind of like an animation style format that I'm not very familiar with. Um, would you mind explaining that a little bit for for someone like me who just uh, doesn't know too much? Cool. All right. So, like I said, uh, let's see. Let's let's pull up some more visual references mm -hmm. here. Sorry, I got my camera in front of my screen. So, um, check it out. So, so after we make that three D render, we make this storyboard here, right? So, this mm -hmm. is an Epic Made storyboard, mm -hmm. and you'll see. Like, it's, I'm pretty sure I can zoom in here, right? Mm -hmm. So, we we kind of like, uh, what is it doing? Sorry. We go through our little, you know, this is how it goes. And it goes, we're, we're, these are references for like camera angles. And so this is all hand drawn in Photoshop, right? Um, okay, Photoshop. And then like, okay. okay. Yep. And then we're, so this was the original concept, as you, like I mentioned, where there was like a dying kind of reference. Mm -hmm. And then we were going to fly through a lot of stuff, but it was just not going to be possible. All right. Everything. All, all the ver all the details of the project, which this happens, right? Like you said, some you, we always have a bigger idea, then we dial into like what is reasonable, mm -hmm. uh, all things considered, right? And that's just business. Um, so there was some cool ideas here uh, that didn't that you know didn't make it on the chopping block. So about but, uh, ninety kinda... percent of it was probably axed. You know? <laughs> yeah, and, that, and and so I don't know if it was ninety percent, but it was a good chunk. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we we do those renders, we do those sketches. Uh, then we work out like the animatic here. I think I showed that to you a bit earlier. Let's see. Um, so this is like the rough. So we go from that screen. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me open this up real fast. We go from that like we go from rough kind of sketches to like you know some of those renders. Then we do some storyboards. Um, yeah, I showed this earlier where it just pans around and shakes, and that was that was kind of as far as we got on the the animatic. Uh, I can reshow that though, just in case and, someone. And what software do you say you use? You use Photoshop, basically. Primarily? Uh, Photoshop for all the sketching, and mm -hmm. then it's either uh, After Effects or Premiere, depending on what part of the gotcha. Uh, you know, video work we're so, doing. So, so basically, um, I don't know if, in, if industry standard is the word, but you know, ba basically that's yeah, that's what Adobe, you're products. Using. yeah, yeah. Adobe products. Yeah, Adobe products. Yeah, for the most part. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the process. And then from there, we just start rendering pieces out. Um, 
we we hit a phase at one point where there was a style choice that uh, I think Renegade we hadn't got on the same page about. Uh, so that kind of put a put a snag and like a, a time delay, which is where Ross and I jumped in. I started adding textures to everything. We just took it and made it more dramatic and more realistic, right? So like it was too di- like zoomed out. So we actually like broke it apart in Photoshop, not in 3D, and scaled everything out and kind of did like a fisheye perspective so that it was more engaging, more dialed in, um, like it more pulled into the, the camera angle. Um, and then from there, that's where we like, we even cut it in further for like the, the f- like actual final video. Um, but like the, you know, sort of like what we call cinema grass, where they're just like mostly static images with a little a- animation. Um, those no, were like not, more I'm not, zoomed out. I'm not familiar with that. Like what, what do you mean by cinema grass? What, what is so that? So cinema graph is like a, an image that has some animation in it, but mo- looping animation, but most of it is just a still image. Okay. Uh, so that's a some people call them plotographs as well there's some variance in there in terms of what you know okay. so you, so you kind of see like like maybe like the the wind you know some wisps of wind and stuff that that's, right. that's what we mean when it comes or the to gates that. were just like that pulsing thing right. and the mm-hmm. flames were kind of pu- flickering and stuff you know okay. so, yeah it kind of gives a little bit of life to the image well, well nice a little nice. bit of life yeah we bring things to life over here for sure <laughs> nice nice and yeah well that... we just had a lot of fun on it man i was just geeking out the whole time like it was like so much fun it was fun to actually get to do some work on it myself right so that was cool i i found myself personally just just to say that hey i was involved with this a little bit was 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 a really cool thing like i know i know yeah. a, lot, a lot of people in the hero escape community they did sign ndas with renegade but it was for a completely different thing i think i was the only only one within the hero escape community that signed an nda where it was something that was way outside where everybody, like most people were just play testing or, you know, involved in maybe some of the, the design of things uh, right. like, like pre AOA. Um, but for me, I'm just like, no, nah, I, I just sat for half an hour and just uh, t- told some, told some guys in a, in a studio, uh, like my thoughts on what the Heroescape universe was like. And it was awesome. Yeah. So, well, great. And so no, I got nothing but good things to say about Renegade and Hasbro. Yeah. Like they've got a great operation going over there. They're doing really cool stuff uh, and, and, and passionate about HeroScape. Like mm-hmm. they really like themselves, uh, you know, Jordan and his team over there, like they, they love this game. Like it, it comes through. Right. So there's nobody like, oh, I'll just try to burn this out and make a quick cash grab. Like it's passionate HeroScape fans that are building Heroescape up like this is this is really cool this is what should be happening so we should all be behind this so that it can be around for many many more years to come so well, well sure. ross's kid to be buying new packs in 10 years you know what I mean? absolutely <laughs> yeah and from your perspective that's that's a good thing to know to to, to find out and yeah to to renegade out there i mean just just keep on you know bumping up that community goodwill and i mean we'll we'll be here we'll, we'll still um keep on being in your corner with the pom-poms out and going cheer 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 we're, <laughs> we're already i mean yeah. i can't I can't wait for june uh to show up when they announce like the the second wave uh this year of stuff so and that's that's only just a few short months away yeah so, i mean super cool so yeah and so yeah, i was looking at some of the go ahead no, no, no. I, I'm my mind's pretty much blank. Yeah, it's it's early morning. It's early morning. It's not even it's not even eleven o'clock yet Eastern time, and I'm just like, whew. <laughs> the, these interviews these interviews are kind of rough uh, when it comes to uh, out of the norm morning time. But Carl, I, I thank you so much uh, for joining us for a little bit this morning, just to give some uh, behind the scenes uh, takes on what what it's like to you know create um this this little piece of of uh, creative artwork uh for renegade um again and and oh and to reemphasize too this this artwork has really no connection with like the lore of heroescape or and I, i've said this before but with the lore of heroescape or anything to do with like the packs or, or the characters correct yeah, I mean, this was just conceptually something that we thought fit well in the space, uh, but it's not like here to like lead or tease anything mm-hmm. other than like what it did, like the lo- the That's relaunch of Hero Escape, right? Yeah. Like, okay. so um, there's no like mystery Easter eggs or anything crazy in there. Um, so you heard it. Any, any, anybody who's taken a magnifying glass to that image, just just stop, just stop. You can you can do it and have fun with it, but you know, yeah. it's it's it wasn't it's not meant to be taken 
that seriously. <laughs> well, fun. Well, uh, any other final thoughts, uh, Carl, that you might have um, before we uh, sign off today? Not a relatively short interview, but I think it we, we gave yeah, a good I, uh, take on, on this side of things. Yeah, dude, no, we just, we're, we're grateful to be a part of this community and to be able to work on Heroescape and grateful for Renegade for doing such an awesome job, like promoting and launching this and getting everyone excited about it and, you know, re re booting what you know i guess it's avalon hill right that had it last yeah mm -hmm. um yeah, and just kinda. you know making bringing this back to life yeah like, here we are you know we have hero scape again it's definitely coming like we are going to get packs like that's awesome so can't wait to paint all my little minis like it's gonna be sweet absolutely absolutely and everybody again check out uh carl check out, check out epic may check out uh carl's uh and you have a um uh, you have a YouTube channel where you do a different type of artwork too. If you want to explain that for a second, while, while you oh uh, yeah, I mean, so I have a personal YouTube channel, uh, Colorful Carl. Uh, I'm in the chat over here, uh, you know, and you can check out my website, uh, colorfulcarl.com, and that links to all the cool stuff I do. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm on the board of the Graphic Artists Guild. I run Epic Made. I have my little Colorful Carl thing, which is basically a live stream I do every week. I'm getting ready to move that back to Wednesdays, but. I've been doing it for like two years and I just take my dad's old artwork uh, who passed away in 2016 and I draw, I draw live uh, in Photoshop uh, on top of one of my dad's pieces uh, and I make a new piece of art every week and it's uh, really fun and really it's art therapy and uh, I've done like 60 pieces now. They're all wildly colorful and crazy and you know we just sort of cut loose and have a good time. So. Yeah, they're really nice. And if you if you get in the chat in one of those streams too, you might end up naming some of the artwork, which that's which happened to me one time. Like, yeah, like I was you, able to to na name one or two of them, which 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 is fun as well. It's fully collaborative. If you're there for the show, like I'm I'm down to like start. You know, you, you got ideas. Like, there's no bad suggestions or whatever. Like, if I don't like your idea, I won't use it. But if you have a good idea, I definitely will. And if Ryan's definitely named a couple pieces. And thank you for your support on that, Ryan. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. So. Yeah, absolutely. And so. I mean, to, to end this, uh, really looking forward to seeing what happens in the future. And Carl, you know you're always welcome. You've been on a TOV podcast or two before. Yeah. You know you're always welcome to come on with us, uh, come TOV podcast time. And if there's any other uh, times in the future when you do other things with Renegade, um, possibly have you back on to talk about it in the future as well. Um, so glad sure. glad to have you for this little bit of time this morning. And I hope anybody who has any questions to Carl, just just go links in him or leave a comment below um, on your on your thoughts. Um, but positive or negative, it really doesn't matter because the great thing about art is it's subjective. You can have your opinion on it, whether it be good or bad. And I mean, you just you you got to roll with the punches when it comes to those things, you know. Yeah. And uh, just love what you do. Dude, I, I, I'm super proud of this piece. I love the way it looks and the textures and the lighting and the color. It's super engaging, super exciting. Everyone we've showed it to professionally is really excited about the, you know, the video and how it looks. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm jazzed on it. And yeah, hopefully we have future opportunities with Renegade and anyone else out there. We're happy to always talk. Always looking for more clients, especially if we do cool nerdy stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So with that. I thank everybody for watching, for tuning in. Um, and if you're watching this in the replay, thank you so much. Uh, and again, leave a comment, uh, leave, leave your thoughts uh, on this matter. And hopefully, hopefully sometime in the future, there'll be more things to talk about and discuss when it comes primarily with Renegade and Heroescape. Here, yeah. here, here, here's to hoping. Uh, but with that, right. thank you all for watching. You have a purpose in your life. Find it pursue it or live it and we'll see you this coming sunday for another a new tov podcast later now bye bye bye, bye. all right see you